Suppose we have two rectangles that we know are similar figures and the area of one of the rectangles is 48 square inches and it has a smaller, its smaller sides are 6 inches long and the other rectangle has smaller sides that measure 18 inches. We want to know what's the area of the larger rectangle. So let me make a little picture here. So there's the smaller rectangle that has an area of 48 square inches. We know its uh, smaller side length is 6 inches long. Then we have our larger rectangle. And its smaller sides have a length of 18. And again, we just want to know the area. So a few things that we're going to have to do. Um, first off, I'm going to uh, figure out the height of the smaller rectangle. right? So I'll get the height of that rectangle. And then using the scale factor, I'll be able to figure out the height of the larger rectangle. And once I have the height of the larger rectangle, I, ju I can just take that height and multiply it by its width. And that's going to give me the area. Right? The area is the length times the width. Or if you want to think about it as the height times the width. OK, so let's see. The area of the smaller rectangle Let's use our formula, so length times width. So we know it has an area of 48. So we'll call this the length L. Its width is 6. Well, to simply solve for the, the length, we'll just divide both sides by 6. 48 divided by 6, that's going to give us 8. So we know that this side length is 8. Now I'm also going to figure out the scale factor. So to figure out the scale factor, I'm going to take the smaller side on the large rectangle, which has a value of 18, and I'm going to divide that by the shorter side on the smaller rectangle, which is 6. 18 divided by 6, that's going to give us 3. So the idea is, OK, when you look at smaller side, to smaller side, it goes up by a factor of 3. The same thing, when we look at the, the, the length or the height, it's going to also go up by a factor of 3. So the height on the smaller rectangle is 8. Well, again, if we multiply that by our scale factor, which is 3, 8 times 3 is 24. That means that the length on our larger rectangle is going to be 24. So now we're almost there. Now to figure out the area, I'm just going to take 24 and multiply that by 18. So let's see. Let's set this up here. So 24 multiplied by 18. 8 times 4 is 32, so I'll drop down the 2 and carry the 3. 8 multiplied by 2 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. And then we'll do 1 times 4, which is 4. 1 times 2, which is 2. We'll add those together. So let's see, 2 plus 0 is 2. 9 plus 4 is 13, so we'll drop down the 3 and carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4. So the area of the larger rectangle is 432 square inches. That'll be our solution. And one little remark here, I want to be careful. Uh, one thing to, to, to point out, um, it would be incorrect to say, OK, so it's correct that our scale factor is 3. That's perfectly correct. And you know, notice smaller side to smaller side, that goes up by a factor of 3. Sm uh, larger side to larger side, that goes up by a factor of 3. But notice the area, right? You're not multiplying that by 3, right? You're not saying 48 times 3 to get the area of the larger rectangle. That would actually be incorrect to do. Okay, so um, just a little remark about that. Be careful. And the idea is really both sides are getting bigger by 3 by 3. And 3 multiplied by 3 is actually 9. That's really what the area is getting larger by. If you take 48 and multiply it by uh, by 9, you're going to get 432. So just be careful about that. The side links are 
you know, do, do have the scale factor of 3, but that doesn't work for areas, okay? So just be careful about that little mistake. Uh, it would be an easy mistake to make. So just want to point that out and make you aware of it.